Hello, good morning. Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. All right, thank you very much for being on time. No, so we can start. I think it's 9:05. So I was just playing a video to start the this morning. So we're waiting for the others. So there are already 34, but we're missing 16. No? So um, I'll have in 10 minutes time. I'll take a screenshot uh, of the attendance. No, before um, maybe a bit later. So there are still missing. So. so we we'll just continue on with the discussion because it's already nine o'clock. And then um, later we'll have a screenshot lang for all of the participants. Na. So I hope you guys are all okay and in good health. Na. So still we are uh, in the pandemic situation. Uh, I think my camera is not working. I think um, my camera is not working, so I'll just start uh, screen sharing my PowerPoint file so we can um, start the discussion. I hope you can see my slide. Makita ba ninyo? Okay lang? Okay, talk, sir. Okay. All right. So, Okay. So before I move on, uh, I requested you guys to, I don't know, um, because we have very limited time, one and a half hours, this is not enough for me to discuss what I want to discuss this morning. Uh, I'll be asking you guys to email me the email me the one that I asked from you from the group chat. If you can email it uh, through my email address, as it can be seen here. Um, jtbeliosa at gmail.com So I'm, I have to make a group page for us in Google Drive. So maybe one of the members of the group can send an email no? jtbeliosa at gmail.com no? for the group or the team members no? of the one that I asked from you. All right, so this is an introduction to vision and entrepreneurship. And I think you pretty heard well enough earlier in one of the uh, I ask all participants to mute your mic. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So Let's go now. Let's start this. So I have some logos here. Uh, you might want to understand as well. So, so basically, I, I don't. I can't be seen uh, too often in the college now of engineering because I work in the innovation and technology support office or the tech transfer office. So the goal is to be active in terms of developing R and Ds that will turn into an innovation. And so. We talk about this that only when we have an invention and we can turn it into a um, commercialized product, then that's the time that we consider it as an um, innovation. So we, I've been teaching or sharing my knowledge no, sa mga professors sa university in terms of intellectual property, patent, uh, industrial design, trademark, all these things. So it's very important. Uh, to understand you know, because um, IP is becoming very important, not just for entrepreneurs, but for research researchers and product developers, you know, in, not only in the university, but in the many, many private companies around the world. So we do this, we educate, we develop, help uh, university researchers develop their IP or invention. Uh, protect them and then utilize them through partnership with the industry. All right, so I think, um, but you've heard uh, many, so many times um, about innovation. And so this is a buzzword lately in the academic institutions, no innovation, innovation. So even our office name is called an innovation and technology support office. So it's so. And there are a lot of misconceptions about innovations, and there are a lot of different um, um, definitions given by different experts. And 
And I just want to show you uh, some of the definitions being derived. So there are no wrong definitions as well, but uh, there is a common consensus in terms of what is the acceptable definition for an innovation. So to start with, innovation is a novel product service. Right. Um, okay. All right. So innovation is a novel product, service, or process which is creative, advanced, and original. So take note of the words here, um, novel or uh, something new, no? Novel is something new, a new product, service, or process. So it can be product, process, or service, okay? Which is creative, advanced, and original. So if you look into um, examples in the industry, Sige na lang, sa food industry, for example. For a long time, Jollibee, I'm not promoting this company, sir. So Jollibee, for a long time, has been the number one uh, food you know, establishment no, or um, fast food chain in the Philippines. And Jollibee has been buying, you know, Jollibee has been buying a lot of companies. And then here comes, to cut the long story short, of the many competitions, we know we have McDonald's also. But here comes the entrepreneur from Bacolod. So in Japsia. You introduce, do you know in Japsia? Uh, anybody here in the group? In Japsia, do you know in Japsia? In Japsia is the founder of anybody? In Japsia. Do you know do you know that guy? Uh, you chat lang no if you can if you can chat. Drop the answers in the chat chat box. Do you know in Japsia? He is the founder of Mang Inasal. Right? Mang Inasal. Traditionally, kumbalo mo tayo sa business sa Mang Inasal, di ba? Um, sinugbang manok, di ba? Tama? Sinugbang manok. Traditionally, uh, sinugbang manok, di ba? Um, so, inasal, no? Inasal na manok are being sold outside commonly, no? So, no at to kaw kuan bisag asa na na no sa kanto there is but one daghan kayo di at bang central no so na yung mga uh, inasal da no so barbecue karon lang di lang kita kaon no i hope na mahaw na mo story tag pagkaon so ang mga inasal so they made it very unique no to deliver the inasal manok through a fast food format no so that's that's kind of a unique no or turn around of selling um uh, barbecue, no? so chicken barbecue. No? So nobody thought ever thought about doing that. No? So and then they're very creative and they introduce kabalo naman si Gota tanan labi na sa mga lalaki mao ni ang paborito nga unlimited rice. No? So the strategy of the mang inasal is to introduce also a idea na everywhere nga na Jollibee as much as possible they're very close or even tapad sila sa Jollibee. You know why? Because they want to really penetrate the market. No meaning to say, if you go into a particular mall and you face the and you see these two two um, stores, you will see the difference. Na in terms of the offering that they do. No? So they introduce a novel. No, no novel. That is really something new, different. No? Although we know that barbecue is uh, been offered, but they offered a different kind of twist in terms of providing value added services to the consumer. So, kung adults ang mga on, so why would you prefer to go to to Jollibee when you are being offered by mang inasal with big chicken thigh, legs, no, paa, and then unlimited rice. So, you have to have second thoughts into going. So, that made, that made um, mang inasal no, grow their business successfully. So from somebody from Bacolor, right? And then, of course, uh, you know the story already of Mang Inasal. Mang Inasal bought, was bought by Jollibee because it kept on growing and uh, Jollibee has been threatened. No, so they, in, to cut the long story short, uh, the, the Jollibee bought Mang Inasal for 3.5 billion pesos. First tranche 60% ownership and later on followed an offer of uh, 2.5. That makes the total transaction of 6 billion Pesos. So for that particular idea, so that I can say is an innovation, no? Because they introduce something different that nobody has ever done in the market. Although we know that doing barbecue is already been existing so for a long time, no? But 
no Filipinos love that. So there was a business opportunity that Injap Sia took, no, so that he'll be able to do it commercially, commercially successful. So he introduced a novel service or process and even product. The entire business is a novel, no, so that can be considered as innovation, which is actually creative. No? So we would always be wondering. Uh, but you know, so these are businessmen, like uh, mostly Chinese, now are, are good in business. So there are also a lot of Filipinos that we can share later on in terms of successful businesses. So another definitions here are for an innovation, also turning idea into a solution that adds value from a customer's perspective. So again, going back to Manginazal, what was the value that was offered by Manginasal. So, sa matung kuan ganun niya. Um, Di ba, I mentioned um, unlimited rice. No? So, guys, uh, basic ng story ako sa akong kagulit. <laughs> guys, please uh, type answers here in the chat box, no? okay? Murag, basi nung ako rin nabilin din nga tao sa <laughs> The Zoom, no? So I, I need to speed things up because there are a lot of things that I want to say you know, and discuss. Then, yeah, so adds value from a customer's perspective. Please leave questions, messages, anything that you want me to to answer or just to hear from you, any comment, please drop by the chat box. No? So drop your answers or comments in the chat box. So another definition is the act or process of commercializing uh, commercializing an invention, an innovation, or introduce something new or improve that creates value in the form of a commercial product. So we're not only talking about an innovative idea. And of course, an idea cannot be considered as invention if it not, doesn't transform into a real product or service so, or process. So idea to product to innovation to so innovation meaning to say commercializing no? so there is a profit oriented or creative value to the for the customer no? so we're talking about an idea and when we have an idea we turn that to invention and we determine it's on the um ang atong customer ani. so that's the time we produce something and commercialize it no? so uh, creating value for the customers Okay, so the term here is doesn't limit only not to creativity to um, a very good unique characteristic for a particular product, but also there is a commercial commercial aspect. So that's the innovation. So somehow you know already kind of uh, some hints about the differences between what is an invention and what is an innovation. Because for a very long time, we've been uh, educated with the different types of invention, no? from the telephone to mobile phones to cars, etc., etc. No? So um, innovation is a separate, has a separate definition for invention. Right. So we human beings are born creative. No? So anybody can, uh, anybody here can create something. And when we do or develop things so from the idea to invention i mentioned so we we, we develop a product no, and that is considered an invention but technically there is a um, specific requirements to invention but i will not discuss it here but we will have a different seminar no seminar for uh, what is intellectual property and uh, in what is invention now innovation here as distinctly uh, different in a different box with invention. So it's as here turning a new concept into commercial success or widespread use. All right? So the only time that we can consider an invention as innovation when we have a commercial uh, commercialization of our invention. So now a commercial success, not a commercialization aspect. So we can only Parang, we can only make good of our invention if it is commercialized. So that is what we are teaching our university professors in university. That not only professors but also students. So 
uh, especially those students uh, who are working in their research methods. Uh, it's very important to think of uh, novel or uh, inventive products that we can turn into innovation. All right. So maybe the idea, uh, kung saan ka ninyo ang gusto i-develop develop na product and then you will be able to design a very good product that will caught the attention no? or that will um, be appreciated by the appreciated by the consuming public no? and then instead of just working working for a particular company you will be able to definitely start your own business and this is the direction that we are trying to make no? for the university okay um uber okay this one is a very good innovation no? so i think you've heard about uber and then in manila here in the country the most popular uh transportation platform right hailing taxi platform is grab right so but it started all in uber no? so typically uber has its patent uh approved in the us and the wipo the international um organization patent electoral property organization so they have uh, this is really uh, considered as computer implemented invention or cii and uber has been very popular in the us and to tell you um grab and other right healing applications right now that exist copied them all from uber and what's so very good about this product so you know already so we have like you can get a taxi no? uh, using the mobile apps, Uber, Grab, and so on and so forth uh, in the US Leaf also. So you just at the top of your fingertips, you can hail no? or you can call or you can kanang pato sa taxi sa asal ka gusto pa pick up. No? And then, of course, uh, it solves a lot of problems. No? Uh, take for okay, so example in Manila, if you go to Manila before, Pagabot nyo sa sa Nahiya Terminal uh, Airport. So before ka makasakay taxi, you have to go through a line, long line, no, to get a taxi. So usually magtaxi ka kung dagang ka gamit, no, because bus is not convenient, no. So taxi. So you have to wait at least 30 minutes to an hour or over than that if dagang kayo, dagang kayo nga pasayero. So meaning to say, with the advent of these technologies, even airport, you can pick or choose already a ride and then uh, pag naog ni mo, pagkawas ni mo, your ride is already there, no? ang grab. So, this has made really improve our our, ano, no? our, um, our traveling. Um, parang mga made it very easy. No? So, muraw ka nang nasulbat yung dagang kay problema no? because, you know, um, right before you click OK, you know already how much it will cost you to go from um, Naiya to, for example, in Quezon City. So, kabalo na in advance no, how much you can spend. So, this is a very good uh, problem solution no, approach no, for for the transportation. So, also may mga problema before. So, kanang maghagal pa bitaw ka sa driver nga, uh, sir, basta Quezon City, 1,000 na, kaya layo kayo. No? Ingana, if you happen to travel in Manila. So, that happens all the time na, sir, dagdag na lang ng tatlong daan kasi sobrang traffic dito. No? So, for Uber and Grab and so forth, so, they calculated or included already no, the the traffic, the hassle, how, how, how long could it be possible for you to go from point A to point B. No? So, that they included that in the calculation reflect that in the payment and uh, you don't have really have to like um, haggle with the driver no na dapat 500 lang bakit 1000 parang ganun so um, it solves a lot of problem so your travel you can keep you safe because uh, you, your wife or your father or your parents can track your your travel no kung asa mo padulong so this kind of innovation, so technology, and then of course they commercialize it. Uh, you know that Grab earns like a mil, uh, like there are already more than fifty thousand Grab cars in the in um, Metro Manila, fifty thousand, and then at least in a day they can earn 
grab no the company can earn like around 2000 pesos a day for one taxi alone so that's a big business no 2000 pesos times 50000 so that's around 100 million pesos a day uh, i think that's before the pandemic so grabe good ang income so so with that particular innovation so of course this is an invention as well okay no? na sila i patent na ni sa sa US trademark office and then yeah. Uh, the thing is that they did not apply in the Philippines or other Southeast Asian countries. So we'll discuss more about patent no, later on in one of the seminars. Intellectual property. All right, guys, time to um. All right, time to guess these faces. Um. All right. Steve was Jack. Steve Jobs. Okay, any other answers? So the right um, side, you know, is popular. So that's Steve Jobs. Thank you, Harvey, for answering. Um, okay, so the guy on the left is Steve was there. No. So we consider them as not one of the notable innovators in the well, how so for so many decades already. You know, so I think many of us here are electronics engineer. So you know, um, was that he is the hardware software guy, you no, know, the hardware guy of Apple when they started this. You know, so Apple software, you no, know, because of the basic programming there. So the unpocha basta basta get po okay electrical engineering, computer science in University of California, Berkeley, but he's really the guy who started it all. No? So, but then Steve Jobs is the um, visionary, no? so he's the marketing guy, he's the money guy. So in vision, nga kanin nga technology sa nga ginahimo, ginadevelop ni Wozniak has potential no? for uh, commercialization. No? And then, you know, the commercial success of Apple today, right? So may his soul rest in peace no? Steve Jobs. so you know the products no? so well-loved products in the u.s no? if you're in if you're an american so there's no other choice but only apple no so grabica solid and foundation sa apple that's why they are one of the most admired companies and highly invested companies no? so they stock they stock in the indexes also well appreciated by the investors now i think um in here we also i would also like to discuss about the stock market with you guys so if we have a lot of time we can have a separate seminar with that so these guys also are really highly favored by the u.s investors because of the products that they continue to uh, provide uh, to the consuming public all right so all right uh, aside from rv can you guys guess who this persons are right and everybody right on the chat box uh basic ako na mabilin do you know it's somebody sila who are these guys right anybody okay kela mo ani Kisa man ni sila. Siya mo nila nabilin. Can you guys guess this person's here? It's reflected on the screen. Wala. Okay, Jonathan and Ralph, at least you're honest to admit no, na wala po mo kaila sa iya. Karong pag kita na sa ila, sir. Okay. Others, how about the others? So, thank you, Alan, Jade, Ralph, Ryan. Wait, puno Ramos dyan din na Adri, Rony. Wala. Apat, lima, Melanie, wala. Okay, wala. Wala ko kaila po, sir. Sa label, wala. Okay, at least na wala. 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 Wala, Jake. Wala, 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 wala. Yun. Wala yun maski isa. Wala. Mau ba? 
No idea. So these guys, okay, wala sa kukitaan nila sir soon. Okay. Okay, so nobody, nobody is so sayang now na magpang nagparapol ko wonder rin, no? Give away the egg. Next time, magprepare ko kung sa'yo parapol na ako. So, <laughs> sa na yung makatubag. <laughs> so these guys, actually were the founders or are the founders of Google, no? So they are Larry Page and Sergey Brin. All right, so they developed Google. You know the story already of Google, but you're not particular of their for of their faces. So, and the net worth nga reflected here, I think 38 billion, 37 billion right now. So, ubos na nisa, no? So this could be uh, this the new value for these are uh, higher na, no? So, so basically the thing is here is what we're talking about is the tire they they turned their thesis no output in. Uh, Stanford University to become a product no, and service right now that we use, that we often use. So if you look at Google also, if you look at the patent office, so Google has more than 13,000 patents or patent applications in the World Intellectual Property Organizations. That's how inventive they are no, or innovate, innovative they are. And so, of course, uh, the other guy on the left is wearing the Google Glass, right? You, you see that? So, yang pero wala kani sa ni commercially successful. Maybe in the future now they will have a very good application. So right now wala pagi kaya siya na ni click. No? But we know Gmail, we know YouTube. So so they've been buying companies as well. No? So Google is a very big company. And do you know that um, Google is also paying around twenty. 20 million US dollars every year to Apple, no, such that Apple will just include that their the Google apps in the Apple devices. So sa US man good, very popular kayo ang Apple no, compared to the Android no OS. So to for Google to get market share of the Apple users, so they entered into a contract agreement with Apple. And Apple said you have to pay this and that. So uh, every year, up, uh, Google pay a lot. No, so they pay um, a huge sum of money to to Apple, so so that the Google um, apps can be included in the Apple products. So these are businessmen. No? So all right, how about this guy here? All right, okay. Kanisha, sige kani. All right, so mas popular si Elon, no? Compared with those guys, so so current events, no? So if you pay attention to what is happening today in the world, this guy revolutionized the the test the the battery powered cars, no? So Tesla, because there is a misconception about battery powered cars. You know that like we use battery power cards in like for example mga golf cart no inay kay andaga no you know also that i think perhaps here in butuan may gamay nga bus nga battery operated pero pan ang ginagamit lagi uh, lead acid mo na no? uh, battery the traditional car battery it's not good no so so Elon Musk is paying attention to the present problem we have today like air pollution no? so so climate change no? so how many millions of cars are available in the road right now no? from the us china to here in in the philippines so millions of cars no and in europe no so millions of cars so he thought na i think if you follow the story of elon musk it's a very good uh, read as well no so to be for you to be inspired um he started paypal no? he started paypal so before um going into the business of um tesla as the battery powered uh, electric vehicle no? so he started paypal no? so software so but his background is into engineering so when he sold this share in um uh, paypal what is now known as paypal no? so he used that money to really work on developing the most popular uh, companies in the world today spacex and tesla Although Elon is not really the the primary or the first one to to work with Tesla, no, he, he was just like uh, investing 
on that, but he made the the, the company grew. You no, know? so Elon Musk, um, he's very fascinated fascinated with uh, rockets, you know? so that's why he paid attention to starting his own business because he saw the opportunity that NASA. Ang problema sa NASA, it's very expensive, no, for like uh, com companies to launch. Uh, satellites. So we we know that uh, companies use satellites now for for telecommunications, for weather um, observation. So um, in Europe, the gan kayo magpalaunch ng satellite pa you know, And for for those companies, the main problem is cost. No, okay. Uh, it's not only NASA, but the 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 Russian. No, the Russian must uh, the space program of Russian mga Russia is. Um, consistent no, compared to the US. Uh, there was a time that the US halted no, their uh, launch no, to the space. No? So uh, even the US realized with Russia. To cut the long story short, uh, there was an opportunity that Elon Musk saw. So he started SpaceX and now he has been uh, successful in terms of um, developing a cost effective rocket. Um, and you're successful in terms of also bringing back the Americans to space, not the ISS, no, if you follow the story here. So it, he's developed a low cost rockets and then those European countries, um, the cost is now around less than 20 million, uh, no, around 20 million to launch a rocket. So medyo nidako ang, ang SpaceX, no, and then they got a huge funding from NASA as well. But the good, the other thing here is very impressive is Tesla. No? So he was able to turn around this uh, company, get a lot of investors to invest in Tesla so that they will be able to start their productions with Tesla. So they try to solve the problem in terms of climate change. No? So they develop a very fast car, right? Um, these are some of the rockets, comparison of the, the rockets. No? So I had the opportunity to go to Florida, no? so in the U.S., and it's quite very impressive now that they have been able to really uh, design a product, um, Falcon 9, no? Falcon 9, Falcon 9. So I, I saw one launch in Florida back in 2017, and people are really amazed by this company, how they were able to, to develop these different kinds of rockets. And this is one what we're trying to talk about Tesla. No? So they made the battery operated cars, electric vehicles, very sexy. So this is a very powerful car. It runs from zero to 60 miles an hour in just less than three seconds. No? So 2.4, I think. Yeah, so they, they were able to do that. You know, design a car, na, it runs like a sports car as well. Uh, before moving to the passenger cars, they were able to first Test their hypothesis you now using a sports car. You now that they can change the perception of the slow battery operated car to a fast car. You now, so they started out in a a sports car. You now, and then they shifted their attention to a luxury sedan. You know? So in the U.S., this is considered as a luxury sedan uh, because this costs around hundred twenty thousand U.S. dollars. You now, so in pesos, pila man siya. So baseline 50 pesos is around more than 5 million pesos for a car. So uh, basically the price range for cars in the US is around um, 30, 50,000 US dollars. Um, we have also our own very Philipp um, inspiring um, Filipino innovator. No? So he believes that in innovation is more important than invention no? because well the impact it creates not the innovation it creates when in terms of uh, commercializing the invention or starting a business then that would enable other people to be employed uh, to, to make an impact on the, the economy um all right so you can check also the story of dado banato no? there there are, if you look into the youtube different youtube channels uh, you will find or uh, follow the story of dado no so it's very very parang ano talaga uh, is very impressive no? so right now even here this is a magazine uh, his innovation makes or make up about 30 percent of every computer in the world today so today 
So he, he is the founder of Mostron Chips and Technologies. And the good the thing about this is that his innovation started also as a thesis in while well, he was studying no, in Stanford as Masters in Electrical Engineering. So that's the direction, the direction really of the many universities. No? So they help the researchers to think about what is the commercial potential. Okay. Karon man good, daghan man kay tag thesis good nya kanang ginahimo but then it end up only in the library wala na gamit wala na gamit bitaw sa mga tao ba so uh, murag sayang ka ayo no so murag sayang ka ayo what for no murag you don't uh, murag ang expectation karon sa mga engineers is to help solve community problems no that we can really work on no and at the same time earning earning money no because of the commercial aspect okay so, if you guys um, will be working on the research methods aspect, you need to find out what are the really problems that we're facing today because that's what also Dado tried to start before. No? So, he, he thought about working on a faster and better performing chip no, that is existing in the market. Uh, this is a video clip, but... Um, uh, if we have time later on, then I will share that. Uh, so for now, um, let me discuss about innovation and entrepreneurship first. So through the years, mula pa tana tao aling 1930s, 1940s. So ingon ani ang TV, and then look at us now, in 2020s. Um, of course, we have the more advanced QLEDs and uh, 4K to 8K. No, so layo na kayo na uptan ang technology. Right, so ingon ani siya, no? Ang innovation we continue to to invent and innovate. No? So layo na kay tagi aftan. So people pay attention to innovation. Of course, they earn money, no? So they they build big businesses and employ a lot of people as well. No? Right, so innovation through the years. So washing machine, no? So if you see two images here. Kita ninyo na nga, lahi na git kayo ang washing machine ka rin. So, electric washing machine. Of course, uh, for example, our machine, washing machine at home. No? So, before niya, uh, automatic na tanan. No? All you have to do is like, iputan na niya mo yung mong labo nun, and then automatic na nga mag-agas o tubig. So, before siya magpa-agas o tubig, iyas ang timbangon, pilay timbangan niya yung labo nun. And then, of course, water flows. And then at the amount nga gi compute niya base sa tim si timbang no so gabi na gyud no nag high tech na gyud no so na yung mga alarm system kung mana o yung mana na sa glaba so pwede na mo i high no so before the washing machine tulor gyud natawag ka nab no so uh spin wash and dry at no wala pa gyud dry nang rinse mura greens ana lang so Look at these innovators now in, of course, we know and acknowledge kaning Samsung, Panasonic. So they've been leading the innovations in consumer products. So evolution of the mobile phone as well from the old one to, I don't know if you've been, your parents have a collection of these mobile phones. So you have these other products now. So why do we innovate? Necessity is the mother of all inventions. So sabi ni Albert Einstein. So when we are pushed against the wall, there is no other thing to do but to innovate or invent. No, We invent first and then innovate. No? So Because there are also inventions that are you, you don't want to have it commercialized. No? If your, your intention is to help the world, no, so that means that you're giving your invention for free, not to the world. No, so you're not commercializing it, and that remains as invention, right? But if you're gonna earn profit from your invention, so we're talking about innovation. So commercial, there is a commercial aspect to that. So we innovate, you no, know, because we invent and innovate because there are so many issues facing the world. I mentioned about Tesla solving the air pollution problem. You know why? Because in, like for example, in big cities like Manila, Beijing, in China, every day millions of cars in the highway, on the highway, tapos mga diesel power cars. No? So even Tesla is not working only with cars. No? So they have their Cybertruck and Tesla 
nga kaning long haul nga kaning mga 18 wheelers nga truck no so so they're, they're into that space as well no so yeah so air pollution so climate change they're contributing to climate change no? so but there are a lot of problems right now that we want to put our attention in terms of developing products so the thing for us engineers because we are trained to be critical thinkers no? so you always ask yourself no no so what can i contribute to the world no so what kind of problems i can help solve no? so that's that should be in our minds all the time no? so there are different targets no, in the sdgs okay so then i'm going to discuss now because there are a lot of things that we can discuss here but like put focus your attention in terms of uh, am i going to help solve uh, reducing poverty number one zero hunger how can you improve uh, production of um, uh, products no so agricultural products so, so are you gonna work on uh, in working on the uh, clean energy so maghimo bakag bagong type sa solar panel nga bisag walay adlaw it continues to harvest so pwede ba na siya no so who knows in the future no if there will be people working on that so these are different categories in terms of meeting the sdgs so many companies really work no or innovate no as a business your goal really is to continue to be uh, relevant in the market no so uh, companies really have to survive and to do that you have to continuously innovate no so any company who stops innovating uh, that will also potentially end the company's business no? so it's a cutthroat business or environment out there no so that everybody every business entity has to continue working on new products and services so uh, you know uh, going back to this phone, no? So, asa man dali. Okay, I think sa inyong edad ka on, you were not able to use only, already Nokia, no? So, naku ba yung nakagamit sa Nokia sa inyo, dali? Nokia phone? Yes, sir. Nakagamit pa mo? Ah, okay, okay. So, right, so... Nokia, tungod kay they were not able to foresee, no? So, ang ila pong product development uh, roadmap, uh, murag wala gin nila nabantayan siguro ang Apple, no? When Apple was starting to produce their own Apple iPhone. So, they continue on like staying on what they're doing, no? So, Nokia, nga kaning QRT, no? So, for a long time, they were there in that space, but Apple or Steve Jobs said we need to distant uh, ourselves no, from the existing products. So they develop an innovative product. And right now, you know what history happens. Uh, Nahimo na, 3310, 3210. So Alan, si Lord, nakagamit pa 3310, 3210. How old are you guys? Di ba mga kinsi pa mo? 20, 20 na? Okay. 20, wait, 20. Mura nagsugod naman kung trabaho sa Philips, 20 years old. Teka. All right. Thank you for the answers, guys. Okay, 21. No? All right. So I think that's the age. No? So uh, back then, Nokia was very popular from 1990s, late 1990s to 2000s. No? So 2007, no? before Apple really the entire market by storm no and samsung so nabili ng nokia they were not able to innovate no faster so nabili sila so ang nokia ug samsung said they keep on introducing new products of course in the early early stage of the apple na products they were they were using the samsung chips no so that gave the idea for samsung to develop their own product lines for um, smartphones no so you know the story here Nawala agad sa passing ang Nokia, no? So they did not innovate. So that's why the main reason they're out of the business is because they were not able to really continuously provide a better product. No? So when you own a company in the future, you always have to think about innovating. No? So don't be satisfied with the, the products that 
you have on your hands right now, but you always look into how can I improve this product. Now, of course, that's the thing that we're gonna discuss a lot in this class. So, kung tanaw na to ang mga ICT-based innovations, dagat ayon, no? So, Facebook, Clear this, kani sila no. These guys earn money. They're not there just to give you a networking website like Facebook. They're there to do business. So they're there to do business, earn money, get get money from advertisers or even from you. No, so so these guys are earning money, right? Yeah. So even Lazada, all these um, mobile apps right now that we have been using. No? So they're there to get money from you. So as a business, we will also because we are consumers. Now, atong orientation ba? We're always we are consumers, no, by nature. So palet, 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 palet. But you can reverse that mindset as well, no. For you guys you know, who are already into entrepreneurship, your business right now. So pwede gan niya instead of become palet, ikaw ang baligya, di ba? So that's why Lazada and even Shopee. Shopee, you know, exist today because they want the MSMEs, uh, medium and um, small, uh, medium enterprise, the micro, small, medium enterprise to sell the products online. You know? So <laughs> we have to reverse this, you know? this mindset. And that's why we are talking about uh, entrepreneurship here. But before before we go to the definition of entrepreneurship, that's why we're talking about innovation as well, because uh, we can only have a very good business if we have also very good products. That's why Apple is uh, in the U.S. is the preferred company, you no? Know? So most love love company in the U.S. You know? because they've been introducing very cool products you now for even during the time of Steve Jobs, you know? so she get that before. You know? So they've been developing very cool products you know, even now. You know? Okay, I think we. Um, so we talk about Uber already. RX Box, RX Box. If you look at RX Box, uh, this is a Filipino-made invention in in UP Diliman. No? So these were at first developed by electronics engineering students in UP Diliman. So so you can uh, read here the multi-component program. Biomedical, biomedical device, electronic medical record system, and so on and so forth. All right. So I just check some of the chats here now. Okay. Yes. Correct. RV. Um, they collect data. They earn a lot of money actually from collecting data. No? So from from all of us on Facebook. So ako na kay Facebook. Okay. Nai lunch karon nga day, sir. Uh, launch baka pasabot ni launch ani or launch starship spacex neuralink open source ni okay okay so that's true no uh, facebook collects data and then that data are even being sold so this one guys you see you no know? so they've been able to develop this of course when they started this dili na nga ni kagwapo no you know that we always do start with the prototype and validate the prototype if they are really useful for the intended consumers. All right, guys, you have to always consider no kinsaman ang inyong user if you're gonna develop an invention. So you determine that aspect. No? So, so we will discuss more about that. But this one prototype here. So dili na nga ni kagwapo of course before ang sugodan ni kanara yung common nga wire nga ginahimo and then of course when we have the funding we go to Shenzhen in China dito ta makakita og mga partner nga can improve the product no kanang naung sa product so a lot of guys um kani mga startups nga gitawag nato labi na og na sila sa tech base labi na na sila sa hardware and software go to Shenzhen no to make the product Shenzhen China no that's uh, near Hong Kong, no, so north, north of Hong Kong. I think northeast. Pag auto dito sa Shenzhen, China, ang kanang prototype, pag human gidana, they will be able to make it a very good looking prototypes. Very good looking prototypes. No? So for us to uh, to try, no, so so kaya lang, uh, of course, because you are really working on a business, so pwede gid siya nga 
o demand sila og 1000 or for this particular example so maybe 100 kay nga nanay ang ilang so by contract no so businessman labi nang sa toa daghan diri sa Pilipino na karong Pilipinas nga motug send send para or or ang mga taga Ateneo de Manila they go to Taiwan no? so you have choices different choices or options but i saw a lot of products came out in Shenzhen China from a ugly prototype to a very good looking prototype so that's what they've done here no? so for us is to find the innovations the solutions that we want to make no, as electronics engineer okay so another one is a product called universal structural health evaluation and recording system this is designed to support no or to look into the structural health no? so look into the structural health of the buildings no? so these guys Actually, sila, kaning, kaning product, although they are civil engineers, but this product came out from um, monitoring system. No? Electronic monitoring system, yeah, money, no? No, so you need electronic engineering skills to develop this. So this guy started um, the smart bridge. <coughs> so, for example, kanang monitoring sa, sa bridge, no? they are sa butuan, no? for example. Kanang bridge sa butuan, they can detect. Uh, uh, kung naay mga sakyanan mo agi pila day ang load karon sa load karon sa bridge no so they they did that and then they transfer that now to buildings so paglinog linog uh, you will know nga which part of the building ang affected or which part ang weak na karon nga ang structure of course these are electronics engineer, engineering projects no? because sensors it involves sensors Right? Nabay dili electronics engineer dire sa klase? ECE? Nabay dili ECE dire? Or all of you are ECEs guys because medyo bias ko sa ECE. Eh. Let me know sa chat box. No? Nabay dili ECE or all of you are ECEs? Okay. I got mixed up with the other section and other oh, sa mga uban mga professor nga. Uh, nasagol na itong uban. Are you all uh, ECEs here? All right. Thank you, James. Lord, thank you for the answer. All right, guys. So these examples are all electronics engineer, no? And ICT. So that's why we are very particular, you know, with the set, giving you an example to give you an idea that it can be done, no? Those students in UP and other students the uh, po gusto i-highlight dere, but of course, um, we don't have much time. So, ride hailing hubs. So, kani. So, during the time of pandemic, so nagawas po mga innovations, right? So, ang pinaka main issue before was a ventilator. No? So, a lot of ugly prototypes are being developed, right? To create a ventilator. Kaya ang, ang problema magud sa COVID, no? Ako, gi-COVID man ko. Uh, maglisod ka ginawan, no? So, pangitawan kayo ang hangin. No? So, good for me. Before the pandemic, I have my own CPAP. So, mga sarap ka ng ventilator gapon to help you breathe, no? So, ano siya? Ugly prototype, if you can see this. No? So, motor, right? Then, kung saan mo na naari to, bedboard mo na, niya, wires, niya. of course, to manage, man, you know, to help manage these things. More example of ventilators. Because every hospital, imagine 1,000 people admitted in the hospital. Puro COVID. So, ang hospital, they, if they were not ready, pila rin mga abugil ng ventilators. Good. No? So, that's why ang focus on uh, during the pandemic, to good kay pneumonia man ang problema. So, they have to like respond. No? So, develop products uh, or innovate. No? Or, so I think I don't know what's the arrangement here. Kung ibalik yab ni or mo lang, but the main idea is to produce as many as they can in terms of producing the ventilators, all right? So kita kan nanago manta. So wala yung sa to asa mga ICA nanago manta. So we're not helping develop a ventilator. So, na yung mga nag-ibog sanitation tent, so it's not really uh, very, I think yun ang pinakamportante, no? very important 
inventions or innovations na ipanghimo. This one also, so oh, is a um, ultraviolet phase no, to clean unidentified Mars. Because you know, in, when we started last year, no, wala kayo dagan Mars, limited kayo ang Mars, no? so, especially N95. So, listen po, nagilabay ni mo tayo, no? sayang man. So, somebody thought about, well, we can have a uh, kaning machine no, nga mag-clean sa mga masks. Alright? So, different kinds of um, um, face shields no, to help us protect it. So, this one is a ventilator as well. No? So, snorkeling face mask improve ventilators. They used it. Uh, so there were a lot of innovations actually came out during the pandemic no being selling like a hot cake okay we will not go into break no because we only have one and we have our, we have 30 minutes left so if it's okay with you i'll proceed no, to entrepreneurship so all right so hopefully you're still there <laughs> so what is entrepreneurship all right can we ask somebody from here any idea about so you can open your microphone and then talk because but I might be alone here already. Who wants to share his thoughts about what's happening in entrepreneurship? What's happening in negosyo? So, say, ano na to, ano? Masing mao mo yung story. I know you guys, isi, pag isi yan eh, mga ginamang story yan, no? Yan na ba expectations sa mga isi? All right, somebody. What is entrepreneurship for you? Okay, Hansel, can you turn on your, um, is it okay, Hansel, if you can turn on your mic or even video na and share us hello. with us. Ah, hello, sir. Yes, hello, Hansel. Uh, for me, sir, it's about taking financial risks because you have to, kana galing mag risk you kasi nga bisag, kanang dako kayo ang iyong magasto for that business, pero you have that kana galing feeling nga, in the future, mubawi good ang iyong business. That's for me. Right, sir. Right. Thank you very much, Hansel. No, so yeah, that's really true and correct. No, so taking financial risk because you need capital to start a business. No, so uh, I don't know if there's a business that don't need doesn't need a capital. No? So today, you always need capital to start a business. So the good thing about taking or doing entrepreneurship today is there are a lot of support right now now if you want to do a startup then yeah so there will be government support but we will talk about that uh, a bit later on any idea any other idea that's correct thank you anzel no so any other idea from you guys so there are how many of us here now 47 any other volunteers who want to share his or her thoughts about what is entrepreneurship? So can I name names na lang? <laughs> okay. All right, Alan Jade, you're on my top list here. On the top of the list, Alan. Alan, are you there? Hola. Guys. Wala <laughs> uno na mga isi de. Hello, guys. Any thoughts? Any wild ideas? There's no wrong answer here. So, wagi mo tubag, oh. Yeah, Aljay, you raise your hand. Aljay, thank you. Sir, kanang concept sa pag-develop o mag-manage sa business to para magka-kwarta, sir. Alright. Alright, so para magka-kwarta, no? So, yeah, that's correct, no? So, we engage into business so that we know, uh, as also mentioned by Hansel, that in, definitely in the future, uh, we will be able to earn money back from the business no so uh that's the goal no so uh that's a goal no in terms of doing business so let me go back to the slides 
Karoon pa kong... <laughs> so what is entrepreneurship? So there are so many definitions about entrepreneurship. So may nag-chat. Let me see the chat. Okay, sir. Gitawag na ko ni Mas... <laughs> Ay, Alan. Okay, Alan. <laughs> Doubt ako may grabe mo na. Ay, kumurag. Sa imo na kita ng basun. <laughs> Take us to Guys, you need to, Alan, okay? You need to, Alan. Sige, find time in the future, Alan. In the future, you can solve this problem, no? Sige. Uh, your question is, what for you, what is entrepreneurship? No? Para sa imo, ha? Sige, I'll give you a chance no, to answer that. What is entrepreneurship for you? We talk about innovation, but we're going towards the entrepreneurship idea. Okay. While waiting, I'll, I'll I'll read your answer later. No? So, what is entrepreneurship for you? Right? So, from idea to innovation to entrepreneurship. So, right. So, if we are a tech-based company, no? so we start really from the scratch. No? So, idea to inventing to inno to we, we go to innovation and entrepreneurship. That's kind of uh, the the same space. No? So. So from idea to business, starting our own profitable business. Thing. So we need to say we need to think about what can possibly change the market. Now when we um, like develop a certain or particular business idea or product. No? So um, there are a lot of people said that there is no consistent definition of entrepreneur or entrepreneurship. Right. So there were a lot of like thoughts coming from. Uh, different businessmen no? but there was there was no consistent definition but nevertheless there are those who found um, fitting definition no? just for us to like have a basis on no? what entrepreneurship or entrepreneur means no? so, so this one is um, definition by Howard Stephenson is uh, that entrepreneurship is the pursuit of opportunity without regard to resources success currently controlled and it leads to a venture creation so pursuit of opportunity so um what was my example back then so on some of the opportunities that present us today during the pandemic right so what was what were the opportunities so i know din abot mo man bag so ako na lang ito pagod so it's difficult to go out no, during the lockdowns, right? So what we're allowed was the basic essential. And actually, sa toa dere no, natay mga gate pass kita rin allowed. But then, if you need food, so dili ka ang Jollibee, McDo, and so on and so forth. Wala kay ko nang kwa no, wala yung open, no, wala na yung open sila. And then they shifted the business into delivery, no, before nga nag relax, no. So delivery, so they can offer delivery or drive through at the start, no. So there is a butuan, right, no, drive through. Or if you cannot go drive through, then delivery. That's where the uh, kaning <laughs> among katawa ng kaning food panda, no? Ako tawo ng nasa pink pink panda. The food panda business, no? So before the pandemic happened, so naka start ng food panda here in Butuan. So the alternative was to really um, book for food deliveries, no? Through food panda. So, that was not seen by many of us here in Botuan. Actually, there were startups in startups in in Navigato before, no, sa TBI, sa CSU. We kept been telling students to look into this business venture. So, well, nobody worked on this. And then Food Panda came to Botuan and then uh, they have a very good business today. No, no, the gun, the gun, uh, it helped the food panda business to grow nation nationwide um, but the thing here is also they employed a lot of drivers diba so kung kamo gani pwede gani mo mag food food panda delivery on saturdays on sundays no to kanang kuan ba so but but you're working that's that's working but what we're trying to do here for sideline ninyo but what we're trying to do here is uh, if only nalo tay naka ni puso ato mong suggestions before then they would have been the preferred nga uh, delivery ko ano delivery nga uh, kanang one so sa so, mga good transit tricycle is right hailing no? so wala sila ka kanang shift no uh, shift into food delivery so karon pa sila nag uh, food delivery no? 
So, go fetch. So, before yeah. that, so to tell you, no, so I stopped the screen sharing first. So, their company now is, let me show you now, this one. Okay. All right. So, their business now is into go fetch. So, these are students of CSU, uh, part of the TBI uh, incubator we have before. Uh, so, if you, I can, I hope you can see my screen now. So go fetch. So, so these are the transit guys working in Navigato or the startup we have in Navigato so in the PBI. So, so now they shifted the business from transit to go fetch. Then they have partners already. So they're into food deliveries na, no? Food delivery, same day delivery, mga product movement, ano, ano. so. Uh, they move uh, products, no, not only food, I think, no, but also other, uh, like, uh, mga deliveries. No? So, so, they, they're working on their startup right now. So, there's a risk, uh, element of risk that mentioned by Hansel earlier, because you're not, you're not risking money alone, but you're also risking your, your career, no? So, instead of working, uh, ka nga maka negosyo, good, no? negosyo. Uh, that's a good thing about these guys. No? So they're brave enough to face the risk no? and hopefully get uh, money in return. No? So I'm not sure if they're very very good, financially good right now, no? well, in terms of standing, but before they got a funding no? from a private business institution, you put one around. 1.6 million no, to fund the transit. I think maybe they still use the money to to pivot their business to go fetch. So those are guys from CCIS, um, Comsai, uh, no, IT and IS, no, uh, mga and There was also Comsai there, okay, Professor Tony So right there, refers to the concept of uh, developing and managing a business venture in order to gain profit by taking several risks in the corporate world. So that's what uh, we, the, the answer that we took from you, you know, when you answered Monsanang Entrepreneurship. You know, so, so developing and managing a business venture, uh, gain profit by taking several days. So naagitanan, gain profit, commercialize, or tapos ang there are a lot of reasons, so maybe later on we can discuss more about the, what are the reasons. So, but basically, if you're a student, the risk, kung engineer ka, kung electronics engineer ka, kung gusto ka mo pag-uman din graduate, or even wala pa ka na-graduate, no? kay kung may gusto na dahil ka, kay nakakita ka business opportunity, kay gusto ka, naku kayong market sa magtao do mga CCTV cameras, or naku kayong market mag-install log, Mga solar panels as a service, no? service oriented yung business. Nakita ni mo nga, dako kaya yung business opportunity for man, mga repair or kanang man, electronic shop or I don't know. No? So so there are different ways. So if there is business opportunity, then you risk it all your career. Kumbaga. So kumbaga, that's where the risk come in. No? So, of course, uh, depende sa parents, no? Depende po sa inyo. No? So, if... Okay, sa ato, magod, sa US, magod, 18 years old. Pag abot na mag 18 years old, sa US nga ka na, kuhaan ba, culture. Bahala na ka sa mong kinabuhi. Mong parents, di na mong ilabot sa inyo. That's why, in the US, mamang po na pagsugod nila ang college, 18 years old. Ang mga sudyante dito, gusto mo yung school ng college, sila rin namin mo fans sa ilang kagalingo, no? Muna silang mangutang ang mga estudyante dito if they want to go private schools, Ivy League schools. Para maka-eskwila sila, college. No? There is Pilipinas. Uh, well, it's 18 years old. Uh, of course, even beyond that, napagyapon sa balay sa parents. No? But in the US culture, pag 18 years old na ka, muragi kick out na sa balay. No? Kaya dapat, manginabuhi na kag yung kagaling. No? Sa gusto niyo mabuato. Narabaho ba ka? Or eskwila ka? Kung eskwila ka, then mangutang ka. Kung gusto ba ka? Or nga na, no? So, there are a lot of risks. Uh, so people who engage sa, sa mga kaning sa mga Americans na so they're taking a lot of risks. So, so that's that's included no in the taking entrepreneurship. 
So entrepreneurship's willingness to start a new business uh, played a vital role in the economic development of expanding the global marketplace. Yes, Loreline, Lorelin. So in 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 Karaga region, I mentioned yeah, we are one of the poorest regions in the country, second second poorest. So, so we need to have a lot of businesses that should start here in in you know, or the industry. No? Okay, ano man pag wala gi businesses dere, wala economic activity, wala taxes, so wala wala tanan mingaw ka you then we continue to remain stagnant. No? So meaning to say wala i daga business dere, dili mo dako ang siyudad, dili mo dag, wala mga employment, no? So people remains like the employment rate is very low, so that's why people are forced to go out from Caraga or Butuan City to find jobs in the metros. No? So what we want to do is bring back the businesses here in Butuan or in the region. So dili lang mining, no? So maybe we can have our own, so that's why in Navigato we're trying to put up the TBI so that a lot of students will be of course, first and foremost, be educated you know, because we're trying to change the mindsets here. And if only if there is a big opportunity or a very good opportunity to start your business, then that's what you can help you know, for, for your city and the region. Uh, the thing here is job employment. You know, so job employment. So imagine kung wala mga negosyo there is, so dagan wala trabaho. You know? So the, the goal is to have a business so that we can help employ you know, a lot of uh, people who doesn't have any, any job. So, so that's why I recommend, like for example, even any mga security guard companies now because they've employed a lot of security. And I, I've been joking, uh, I, I was joking to my wife, uh, I said to my wife, para po nina mga kawatan, mga old upper, no, okay? Ang mga business ron entities mag-hire gud og security guard no ila kagulingon so para guardahan ang 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 ila ang tindahan no so so it helps create jobs no? so there is that di dynamic no na na mura og ganang job creation as well but that's that's just a joke no? so i think in, a, in our society dire na gyap ko na yung ngan all right um if you see that red line, that's not mine, no? So I think, uh, see... Anyway, so another definition here is that entrepreneurship is a process by which individuals or group of individuals. So that's why you you guys are, I don't know, uh, organized into team right now. Um, exploit the commercial opportunity either by bringing a new product or process to the market or by substantially improving an existing good service or method of production so very important exploit a commercial opportunity introduce a new product so only if we somebody develop a katong ingon ato food delivery nga mobile application no? so before food panda came in so they should have been able to organize a food delivery business already in but one so so substantially improving an existing goods so pwede gud no? if you happen to see Ang asa man daw nato ni makit-an gyud ning naay mga business opportunity. Number 1, kaning daghan kayo tawo nga sige complain, no? So, kung you know or even you yourselves, no, sige kag complain, ano man ni kabati ba ning guanay. So, maybe to say there is an opportunity there for you to work to make that product or service better. So, if you can introduce a business idea to solve those complaints, then that's that's where the opportunities come in no, for for you to work on. No? Okay, that's the number one. Yun, the gag kayo kanang complaints. The other one is uh, the other one is kanang if you ask people wish list. Unsa man day gusto ni mo sa kuan? Unsa day mo wish list? Kaning so example kaning food delivery. Unta unsa day wish list ni mo ani? So kana bitaw dapat ang food panda dili na sila mo si panawag asa din yo sir asa din yo so how can you solve that no naron man tay google map but even with the google map or kani mga food panda drivers there's a problem na di mo gyapon katultor og asa ni imong location no so ingana sa so if there are a lot of complaints then that's where the opportunity comes in to introduce a product or service nga pwede gyud sa nay business potential no? so complaints no? so if you remember that pag nay complaints then that's where the opportunity comes in. 
So process is generally organized through a new organization that is a startup company, but may also occur in an established small business that undergoes a significant change in product or strategy. So existing naman ang kwa ano na kay business na. But for us, for you guys, what we want to do is really try to establish, try to establish a startup company, you know, startup, right? So a, a small group of organization. Eh? So we'll be also talking about startup later on. Now, you've heard about technopreneurship. It's just simply the merging of knowledge, technology with entrepreneurship skills, right? So, karon ba sa university? Ingat sila nga. Okay, tungod kay to tell you honestly, class, technopreneurship was kaniyang kind of technopreneurship subject was included by Chad, no, as part of the curriculum. Why? Because Dado Banatao, the person we talked about earlier, he was the person who thought that technopreneurship should be added no? because that's the only way that we can help improve our economy by establishing a lot of startups and employ a lot of people. So when there is economic activity, then we're helping our country. No? So that's what happened. No? So I, I commend, no? I salute uh, Dado Banatao because... He wants to help our country, although he's based in the U.S., no? so he's supporting also entrepreneurs. But he's pushing this agenda in the Philippines and to educate us all. And although there were questions na dapat ang magtudloan ng entrepreneurship subject that are businessmen themselves, no? but you know what? Uh, businessmen don't have time. Kaya mga full-time businessmen don't have time to teach uh, students and colleges because they want to put focus on their business as well no kay kung sige na po sila tudlo nya mabiyahan nila so tutok gyud no as as negosyante as entrepreneur one of the reasons sa malugi ka nang dili ka tutok sa negosyo no so that's why we have to be very focused on business that's why uh, educators are left uh, alone no to really teach uh, entrepreneurship and technopreneurship even without any business um affiliations or business kanang experiences no? so uh, when I was in Manila working in Phyllis before, so uh ko sa experience kay nag food cart, no? So that's one one of my experience before. But the thing is that we here going back to this entrepreneurship and technopreneurship definition. So marriage between technology, no, entrepreneurship. We use technology based product to for us to engage in business. So can I understand simply? Uh, technology married no, sa married uh, I mean technology partnered with uh, to partner with uh, so yung mga negosyo nga makasulbad no? so yung nga itong gusto no? so, so I think that's the idea here so we use technology to solve problems solve problems and also in the future um, earn money. So that's that's the business. Right? So, unsa ka na siya. So, that's what we need to figure it out. So, first, good is to look into unsa man day ang naay mga opportunity. What are problems that we are trying to solve now? Right? So, mabita na kadagan ning kwan doon, kana yung mga maglimpyo, no? maglimpyo sa rooms, mga katong mga blue lights or it's itong mga one, okay. There is an opportunity nga palit. No? So I see a lot of kanil mga fans magkaroon na kanil. Butang kanil mas para maglimpi o hangin. No? So these are electronic-based products as well. So nga na, they are na focus no, in terms of pro solving problems in COVID. Kay problem ang tahangin no? pag, pag ka ng uh, air-conditioned nga room. Kinaan lang na siya permanent limpiuhan kay ang hangin no? because wala may gagawas nga hangin or gasulot nga hangin. Nga bago. So products based, no products based, technology based. Okay, parehara man siya. Okay, innovation times commercialization. Okay, entrepreneurship. That's another. You know. So we discussed about innovation already. So my internet connection is unstable. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Um. Si Alan, all right. Si Alan na tubag na dre. Okay, thank you Alan for chatting. No entrepreneurship sir, it's not all about business innovation maybe but also services. There are lots of services that all came up with puppets like car washing. All 
right. Sorry, um, nawala ko, no? So, let's go back to the chat. Allah, di na na ako mabasa. Oh, nabre. So, ingon, my internet connection is unstable. Right. So, there are lots of services that I came up with, like car washing, okay. Um, car wash, also wind trap, okay. And now, pwede gan sa mga repairs na nagkakagandang services man as I belong in there. You know? So, I think it's every... Yep, that's correct, no? So, services like that, the offering services are... I think that we included that here, no? So, services. So, the thing with, with the services type, um, yeah. Those are businesses. No, if you can earn money from that, then that's also business. No, so even you know that in the car wash. No, so uh, because in in the the car wash business today, pag magsugod ka car wash, taut taut na namin may matapat sa mga na. So dagang kay kapikats, no. So but then that will reduce your market share. For example, pag dagan. So I remember there is a good one. Can you tell me there is a goal sa uh last dili lasada <laughs> kal unsa ni nga pizza di kal da pizza no nagan na ay nay nagtukod og litson manok taw taw na pud ay tuod tukod og litson manok so nagsugod og isa karon you can see lima ka litson manokan nga nagtapat tapad og baligya litson manok <laughs> because this kind of things uh the service based no so dali sa kopyahon no meaning to say you don't have a unique unique kanang product or service although uh, I I do think you can still earn money, but the profit there is being shared by everybody. You know? So that's why uh, during the course of this this uh, subject, we will be talking about IP because you want to like make your product stand out or service, no? Product or service stand out from the rest of the the competition. You know? So um, yeah, that's true. You can still earn money. But if there will be competing I don't know, entities na magdagadagan, I notice also kanil mga car wash, pag tukod ng car wash, maugyapon, no? daganda yung magtapat-tapat ng car wash, uh, mag-reduce ang market share. No? So we want um, for us to develop a product na uh, in the future, you gain the, a monopoly, no? monopoly of the market. So... Uh, what kind of unique service? Magkadaga na ang manukan, uh, how can you entice the market or the public na uh, ikaw rin yung antuan? No? So that's the thing that we're gonna discuss this in this subject. Uh, unsay buhaton ni mo, no? what do you need to do so that ang mga tao, what to rin sa mo? No? So, because it will be common already no, for everybody to have that kind of business. Although, you will still earn money, right? But the market, magkagamay magkamangamay meaning to say if you have a customer before nga 100 per day and then right now you have lima na kamanukan imbis 100 tag 20 20 na lang mo no so okay bayin bayin nun okay, nga no uh, I doubt it if kung ang isa katindahan dito ratanan mo pila tanan tao no because people cannot wait so they have to move to other manukan no so something like that so mo reduce mo market share because you're offering a service nga that is uh, really common no so the thing is how can we, as entrepreneur, create a value-adding service on top of the existing offering? No? So those those processes are included in the entrepreneurship no, idea. So yeah, unique novel. A novel is new, no, but unique. No, so you, what separates you or me from the business competition I have? No, so that's talking about. Apple, Nokia, Samsung. Now, what separates Apple from the rest? Okay, why why are they unique? No, so that's where the entrepreneurship skills and planning comes in. No, so being unique in the marketplace, right? So yeah, so so the goal is really to be the market leader. No, so that's sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yep. Uh, who's uh, this? Harvey, sir. Kanang naraba mi class ten thirty, sir. Sa other pa ni subject. Zoom gap thing. All right, it's ten thirty now, so we'll continue this on Monday, okay? So I yes, leave sir. some assignments and ano sa group chat na lang. All right, so with that, like mag screenshot sa ko. Ah, let me have some screenshot, okay? Okay, print screen, no? Okay, kadali lang git kayo. Ah, pasensya na mag screenshot lang git ko ha. For attendance purposes, I see your beautiful faces. 
Ila kining gibarugan ang mga guapo, guapa nga mga taga ICE. All right. So Tama dire mga future Mr. o Mrs. UDI yun sa mani nga suerte sila kay pandemic na no? so. All right, kadali lang gyud hapit na hapit na hapit na. One. Kadali lang gyud ha. Teka, teka, teka. Salamat to. I need to like copy and paste, copy and paste. All right, screenshot, screenshot. All right. Okay, guys. Um, thank you very much for coming in this morning. I'll see you. No, I'll see you on uh, Thursday. All right. So, salamat and good day to everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. I hope you learned something today. Thank you, sir.